An upbeat President Obama bounded on stage today at a factory in Manitowoc, Wisconsin, a town that's on a fast track out of recession. And the unemployment rate here is four points lower than it was at the beginning of last year. The president toured three clean energy businesses here that are booming in large part, he said, because of federal government investments in innovation. This is how we're going to win the future. The kind of investments he argued for in the State of the Union address. The first step in winning the future is encouraging American innovation. But on a day when the government predicted this year's deficit will top $1.5 trillion, the highest ever, Republicans condemned the president's so-called investments as nothing more than wasteful stimulus spending. The president, they note, had a long list of where to spend. Repairing crumbling roads and bridges, high-speed rail wind and solar. But he offered no new specific ideas on where to cut, and his proposal for a five-year spending freeze, Republicans say, is woefully inadequate. Americans don't want a spending freeze at unsustainable levels. They want cuts, dramatic cuts. In fact, the president's freeze applies to only about 12 percent of the budget and leaves completely untouched the massive entitlement programs, Medicare, Medicaid and Social Security, that threaten to drown the nation in debt. The president's freeze would save about $400 billion over the next decade, but budget watchdog Maya McGinnis says that's not nearly enough. I would think the bare minimum we want to be saving over that time period is closer to about $4 trillion. So. It's maybe more than a drop in the bucket, but just a few drops. So why was the president's State of the Union speech so thin on details about cutting spending and cutting the deficit? Well, the White House will be involved in intense negotiations with Republicans about that for months, and they don't want to show their hand any sooner than they have to. Katie? So you're saying, Chip, we're not going to get any more details any anytime soon? That's right. Now, the budget is due in mid-February, and we certainly will be getting some details then. But even then, uh, most uh, analysts believe that there are not going to be any big plans about cutting things like Medicaid and Medicare. That's, that's going to only come when they absolutely have to do it. And, and Chip, White House officials told us yesterday the president didn't want to talk about gun violence last night because he wanted to give the issue a more thorough examination in a different forum in the near future. So is the White House saying when that might be? They're not. Robert Gibbs today said there's no timeline, but he pretty strongly implied that it will happen in the not-too-distant future. Katie. All right. Chip Reed at the White House. Chip, thank you.